So right now I'm standing in my chicken run and the job that I'm doing today should have been done in the fall. However, I was waiting for days where it would be a little bit cooler um, and dry so I could get in here and do this, but that didn't happen. It got cold and then wet and then hot and then cold and then wet and then hot. And it's kind of been what our winter has done this year and uh, it's different, um, but it is what it is. And also I didn't feel that great. So there's that. Um, I'm kind of forcing myself to get out and do some more things so that I, I feel better, but there are things that need to be done and have been neglected um, because that just is what happens sometimes, even if you don't have cancer. Sometimes you do things not when you're supposed to. So today we're going to clean out the chicken run, also known as my compost bin. I feel like composting can be over complicated. People get too caught up in the details or am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? All of that kind of stuff. Hmm. I have a phone call. Should I take it or not? You do to know. Hold on. So we overcomplicate things and sometimes you overcomplicate things or you learn too much about all the different ways or rules or whatever that you get paralyzed and you don't start. So just start. Just do something, mess up, whatever. You're going to hear me say this all the time. Um, but I use my chickens as my compost bin, so to speak. Um, it's their chicken run. And um, it is a 12, 12, roughly 30 by 15 um, chicken run uh, in the summertime. It's covered with loofah gourds and birdhouse gourds, or at least it was this past summer. Um, and the uh, run is where I throw all my grass clippings, anything that can be composted, food scraps, all of that kind of stuff. Um, when we clean out the goat barn, when we clean out the chicken coop, when we clean out the underneath the rabbit cages, we throw everything into the chicken run. Um, it is where it all goes. So your basic comp compost needs to be built up of greens and browns. Chicken manure is great for your garden. Um, broken down. It is a hot manure so if you apply chicken manure directly to your garden it can burn up your plants or your seeds and they won't germinate. So the benefit to having chickens do the work for you is that they are constantly scratching and pecking. That's what a chicken wants to do. They want to scratch and they want to peck. They're looking for bugs, they're looking for seeds, they're looking for all sorts of things and composting using your chicken run as your compost area provides that for them and it gives them something to do when they are um, confined to an area and it makes them very very happy um, other things that we do when it when it gets really wet in here when we have tons of rain we put down um, a layer of straw or hay whatever i can access i don't get too too bent out of shape on not having just hay or not having just straw. Uh, people have opinions on it. Uh, my opinion is, is get what you can. Um, you can also add wood chips if you have access to wood chips. Pine straw. A lot of people around here have pine trees. You have a forest floor full of pine needles. Add them to your, add them to your chicken run um, and, and do that. Um, I don't know, did I mention when we mow our grass we add our grass clippings in here? We don't, we don't spray um, our backyard and so when we mow our grass we will mulch them and no sorry we don't mulch them we bag them and then we toss them over into our chicken run. In the fall this is the best time to do this um, but in the fall I come in usually all of us come in because it's a big job um, and we dig out everything that we've used <clears throat> over the past year excuse me and um, or everything we have thrown in here over the past year the chickens have done a great job at scratching everything turning it into dirt and we put it straight into our beds the reason I like to do this in the fall is because it prepares the beds for winter it gives them a good feeding and then most of the time anything that hasn't broken down uh, is breaking down um, it is February now, um, so not fall, obviously. 
um, but we're going to go ahead and do this anyways. I still have several months before I'm going to actually plant in the ground. So I'm okay with doing this because whatever chicken manure might be um, in here that hasn't broken down will likely break down. So I'm okay with doing this. If you're not okay with doing that, then don't do it. But I am okay with doing this. Um, I'm going to be starting seeds here soon, but I'm not going to be direct sowing a whole lot. And by the time I do direct sow some of these seeds, the dirt is going to be or the compost itself is going to be just fine and uh, ripe to plant in. So I want to show you a few things first before I get started on shoveling this out. This is normally a one day project if we're all involved, but right now my kids are busy. I have work that needs to be done. And so I'm just going to do what I can today. I have a certain amount of time and then I will work on this the rest of the week because it's supposed to be nice weather supposed to be um and this this is what we're gonna do we're not gonna rush it we're just gonna move slowly along because i have a tendency to rush through things and um that's not always good all right you see i have straw on top but let me show you what it ends up looking like once it starts breaking down do you see that it's just dirt isn't that cool so there's this layer right there. And then there you go. Take down. Look at that. I could also use this to start my seeds in if I wanted to. I might. I may do that and then compare starting in compost. I could sift it if I wanted to, but see how easily it just breaks up? What is it? And then apparently the test to see if you have good soil is to scrunch it and then break it up. If it breaks up, easy. It's supposed to be really good to plant in. So, yeah. Looky there. Chicken poop. And all my waste. Goat poop. Rabbit poop. Whatever. That's all there. It's garden gold. And you can produce it on your own just by using your chickens. It's pretty awesome. Because this stuff... If you buy it, it can be expensive. All you science fiction people out there who believe in wormholes, they're real. So the rest of that video, you'll notice that I had my kids doing the work of digging out the um, compost out of the chicken yard and putting it into beds. I hope they provided you with some entertainment. Um, they are workhorses. They work very hard. Um, but the reason is, is because remember when I said, oh, I have a phone call, maybe I should take that. Maybe I shouldn't take it. I don't know. I should have taken it. Um, it was my doctor calling. Um, they wanted to send me in for a chest x-ray. Um, first of all, everything is fine. Um, I had 
a weird cough and I've been experiencing a lot of fatigue uh, more than normal ever since I had my last uh, shot. I take a shot every three months um, to keep my ovaries suppressed so they don't produce estrogen, which is what feeds my cancer. Um, so we're trying to keep me cancer free and I will take that shot for the next five to 10 years, um, depending on how my body does and whatnot. But ever since that last shot, I've just not felt well. And um, I uh, kind of have just had this cough and it's it's been two months, it's not going away. I don't have that virus that's floating around. Um, I know for sure on that. And um, I, um, I just needed, a, I can't ignore things anymore. So I needed a, uh, um, the spreading of cancer into a different organ in my body to be ruled out. Um, I am thankful that my doctor takes those things seriously. And um, when I sent him a message to let him know that I had a weird cough, it's not going away, um, I'm really tired, things just feel off. Um, uh, he was acted very fast and he wanted me to go get a chest x-ray. So to rule out cancer spreading to my lungs, um, that is a possibility at some point, and I live with that. Um, it's not fun, um, but I can't ignore things anymore, and things have to be checked up on when things are off. Um, thankfully, my lungs look just fine. They don't see anything wrong with it. Um, so I'm trying some dietary changes right now to see if that is helping. And if you want to know specifically what I'm doing, I am eliminating gluten entirely um, and being very strict about it because I don't eat a lot of gluten, but it was Christmas and there's a lot of like, you know, foods around Christmas and baking and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to eliminate that, see how I feel. Um, if I'm still feeling the same way, come my next doctor's appointment in March, then my doctor said we will dig deeper to see what could possibly go on. Um, but all that to say, I'm trying not to live in fear and anxiety, but that's reality sometimes. So 